Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to a new review. Well, imagine for a second that a smartphone, a TV box and a projector had a baby. If that would ever happen, we would get this, the C800 uh, projector. So, this has a 3500 milliamp battery, so you don't actually have to have it plugged in all the time. It has a projector lens out here uh, on the front, and it also has an Android TV box inside, if that makes any sense. So we have a Rock chip processor, we have 1 gig of RAM, 8 gigs of internal storage, and running Android 4.4. So with this little thing you can basically connect to the internet and watch pretty much anything without a single cable. So very very cool gadget from China. So let me show you what comes in the box with it, I'll show you how this looks and then we'll see how it performs. Let's begin! The C800 comes in this box, on the front we see a picture of the projector, the model name, that's the brand name right there. And on this side we see some specifications or features about uh, this mini projector. Inside the box we find a mini tripod, so you can basically put the projector on the tripod and this way you can uh, set it pretty much anywhere and project it on any surface. We also get a remote control and this remote control takes two AAA batteries, a power adapter, and lastly, the user manual. The user manual is in English, it's got a couple of pictures, so it's going to make it easier for you to learn how to use this projector. Now the projector itself. So I have to say that it is beautiful. It is made out of metal, so all around you're going to find metal. And on the top and the bottom you're going to find some type of shiny plastic. So you can get a better idea how small this is. I'm putting my uh, Xiaomi Mi Note 2 on top of it, so it's basically the size of my phone. But it's got a projector, a battery and uh, all that stuff inside, so very very cool. On the back we are going to find a slot for a TF card, the reset button and USB port, so we only have one USB port. That's where the power adapter goes, the 3.5mm audio jack the HDMI port and this is the power on off button and right here on the back we have the speaker. On the right hand side you're gonna find a little wheel that can zoom in and out uh, the lens and on the front we're gonna see the lens right here and these are a couple of holes so the projector doesn't actually overheat. Turning this around you're gonna find some more holes so the projector doesn't overheat and this is where you'd place that uh, tripod. And another important thing about this projector, the maximum input resolution is 1080p and the output resolution is 854 by 480 so not the highest. However, if you keep this rather close to the surface that you're projecting on, it does look really, really good. The LED inside there has a brightness of 200 lumens. This also has dual band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. The first thing I wanted to show you is how the projector looks in daylight. So I don't have any lights on in the room here, however there is light outside and the light coming through the window. So this is how it looks in daylight. So I have to say it doesn't look that bad for a projector that has a brightness of 200 lumens. So next uh, I'm gonna show you how it looks uh, with the lights off and uh, in a dark room. So the projector is sitting about three and a half meters away from the wall and you can probably see that the wall is a bit shiny so you can see the paint uh, shining in the light from the projector right about here. So around here it's uh, the shiniest. I guess if I would have moved uh, further back it wouldn't uh, be that noticeable but um, I don't have any more room in this uh, particular room to actually move further back. So this is how it looks um, in a dark room. So, uh, in my opinion, it does look very, very clear, like more clear than a lot of other projectors that I've tried. So, uh, let me open uh, the MX player here and I have uh, that USB stick plugged in. And uh, we'll try to, to play a couple of files here so you can actually see how uh, well it looks. And unfortunately, since it only has one USB port uh, I wasn't able to use a mouse so I have to use uh, the remote control that came with it. So let's try playing uh, this uh, 720p file. Oh that's not the one that I wanted. Let's move back once. Uh, I was actually hoping to get this one going. I just wanted to skip uh, forward a bit so you can see how uh, it looks. Okay. 
And in my opinion, it looks really, really good. Like better than a lot of other projectors that we've seen in the past. And what you're hearing right now, it's actually the speaker from um, the projector. So let me turn that up all the way. So it is quite loud for uh, such a small projector. So uh, we'll stop that. And since we are here, let's check out what uh, other video formats uh, work. So I don't think that uh, the 4K files will actually work. So let's try this one uh, out of curiosity, but I highly doubt it. So as I was expecting, uh, that one doesn't, uh, doesn't work. Uh, the next 4K file, it's pointless because it's not going to work, but we can try this one uh, right here. So again, it does look really, really good. So uh, we've seen that this one works. Uh, let's see this 4K file filmed with my phone. I'm just curious to see if it actually works. I don't think so, but uh, I just wanted to, to make sure. Oh, so it actually starts, but uh, yeah, it's not gonna go smooth at all. This processor that we have in this TV box is not the most uh, powerful out there. So at least it uh, it starts. This one, there is no point in trying. Um, this one here, I'm pretty sure that it's gonna work uh, just fine. And as I was expecting, uh, it does work uh, really good. The next one that I wanna try, it's this one. This is a 1080p file. And let me just uh, skip forward. And I'm very happy to see that the remote control uh, that comes with it actually works better than uh, most remote controls that I've tried on a lot of uh, TV boxes. So this one uh, also works uh, good. And I think there was another file somewhere here. Uh, let me see where that was. Oh, so the first one here, I wanted to see if it actually works. Yeah, and this one also works uh, good. But you can see the reflection in the wall there. So I wish the paint on the wall wouldn't be that uh, reflective. It would be a different type of paint, but um, it is what it is. So basically all the files that uh, we have uh, and we tried here uh, worked really, really good uh, on this TV box. Aside from those 4K files that, uh, again, are not going to work on that uh, particular processor. And since we have this opened, uh, we might as well open Kodi in here as well, so I can show you how Kodi works. So we have Kodi 15.2, it's an older version, but uh, that's because that processor that uh, we have in this particular TV box, it's an old processor and, uh, well, it's an old operating system. Let me show you what's available here at System uh, and System Info. So you can uh, see whatever uh, information you may be interested in uh, right there. So that's all the information that uh, we have. Let me move back. And let's see if there are any add-ons that uh, come pre-installed. So there are no add-ons that uh, come pre-installed. Sorry for the blurry recording uh, in low light conditions. My camera is not uh, doing good at all in low light conditions. So since I'm here, let me show you that uh, the Play Store uh, works. Again, super shiny in that uh, part of the wall there, where the light reflects basically. But uh, the Play Store does uh, seem to work uh, pretty good without any issues that I found uh, so far. And you can even install some games and uh, actually play some games on this, even though it's not the fastest processor out there. So I was able to get this game installed. However, playing games with this uh, remote control, it's gonna be difficult and uh, it would be much better if I'd actually have a mouse connected uh, to this. But uh, since I have that USB stick and I don't wanna move uh, the projector from there, uh, it's gonna be a bit difficult. So I just wanted to show you that you can actually watch and play games uh, as uh, the TV box or the projector projects onto the wall. So that's it for this nighttime experiment where I showed you how uh, the projector projects onto the wall. I just wanted to show you that it does look uh, really good in fact. And I'm quite far uh, from uh, the wall. So next I'm going to move back uh, to the screen recording and I will be connecting this uh, TV box or projector, however uh, you want to call it, uh, right to a TV. As soon as we turn the projector on, this is the screen that we get. 
and this is basically like the boot up animation and it takes about 30 seconds or so and it starts so first of all uh, let's check out what apps come pre-installed so these are basically all the apps that we get so I see Netflix here I see the MX player and even Kodi let's start by checking out the settings app um, right here so this is Android 4.4 so the settings app it's gonna be a bit different so here we can check out the Wi-Fi and uh, basically turn on and off the Wi-Fi and I can already see my 2.4 and my 5 GHz Wi-Fi networks and since we are here let's check out the speeds for the Wi-Fi on the speed test app connected to the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network we get a download speed of about 18 and a download speed of about 22 on the 5 GHz Wi-Fi network so overall not bad for uh, such a small device and we are back to the settings app so a display here we can just change a couple of things so the font size basically you can uh, zoom in zoom out the screen and for screen mode here you can basically choose uh, one of these so it really depends uh, on your taste so this could make sense if you have like a shinier uh, wall this could probably make it uh, better so for my uh, previous test uh, would have been better aside from that at storage here we can see how much uh, space we have so we don't really have that uh, much space available we have about 3.89 uh, gigs out of that 8 and at apps here we can just see whatever apps um, we already have installed but language in the input I'm just gonna go uh, through the languages available so let me just open the languages here so I'm gonna scroll through them so hopefully you see the one uh, that you may be interested in so a lot a lot of uh, languages so that's it for uh, languages and at about the device here, uh, we can see that uh, we have Android version 4.4.4 and the model uh, number is the C800W. So that's about it for the settings app. I just wanted to touch on the Play Store very quickly. So all the apps that I tried uh, to install seem to work uh, without any issues. So I was able to install pretty much anything because there are some uh, TV boxes that I've seen in the past uh, where the Play Store doesn't actually work. But on this one, everything seems to work just okay um, on the Play Store. For those of you that are wondering, this box does not have root access from the factory. And this is the digital rights management information that we get. So really nothing here. And for the last test, I wanted to show you the score for the Antutu benchmark. So here we get about 17,000. And at info here, we can see some uh, details about uh, this TV box, basically. So we can see the processor right there, the screen resolution and uh, so on. I've also tried AirPlay and I do have an iPhone uh, connected uh, to the TV box or projector, however you want to call it right now. So uh, you can basically see whatever pictures uh, you have, you can watch uh, whatever YouTube uh, videos that uh, you want. So AirPlay does work really, really good. And I've also used an Android device. I used my uh, Xiaomi Mi Note 2 to actually cast uh, to this device. So I can see anything that I'm seeing on uh, the screen of my phone. So uh, AirPlay and uh, screen mirroring for uh, Android also works uh, good. And it's time to conclude this video. So this projector with a built-in uh, Android TV box, it's one of the coolest gadgets that I got uh, from China in quite some time. That internal battery that we have, the 3500 milliamp battery that we have inside, lasts for close to 4 hours. So you basically don't need to carry that power adapter with you anywhere you go. So you can just carry this little projector and project from your phone, uh, play any movies uh, anywhere and you can project on any surface. Uh, and if you keep that little tripod that comes with it, you can basically do that anywhere uh, you're gonna be. So one of the coolest uh, things that I've seen from China for sure. The Android TV box that's uh, inside, it's not the most powerful uh, TV box out there, but for playing some games like this one for example, or uh, playing a couple of um, videos, uh, it does work uh, really really good. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, if you do have any questions, feel free to leave a comment uh, down below, don't forget to press that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.